Yeah. So obviously today was on, on and above the edge. It was really, it was really tough for us with all the, um, with the 130 whatever minutes. United had a clear best start. It was obvious he scored a goal, early goal. We had to um, organize ourselves a little bit better. We struggled with the man marking. Didn't play enough. All these kind of things. In the moment, I was really happy. In the moment, when we the first, that's in a moment like that. When we found find the first way, that the first time on uh, a way to play, then it's then we get rhythm and then it looked really good. Then we were absolutely deserved to one up. Um, and second half was exceptional, was absolutely exceptional what we played here. Um, but we didn't finish the game off. And when you leave the door open, away from home. At Old Trafford, it's clear that they will get chances and um, they they could score the equaliser and was Marcus big chance at the end of, of normal time, so they can win it there. I, I see that it's clear, and then it got really hard for us. And then it was really hard for us. That was not the first time that I really saw my team, Oof, um, like really struggling. That's that's how it is. It, it, we have we played a lot of football recently. Um, and then we will go 3 2 up. <laughs> All good. And then they score 3 3, 4 3. Come on. Yeah, I easily can accept that. Congratulations to United. Um, they fought extremely hard as well. Um, that's how it is. It's, you want to go to the semi finals. I think everybody who saw the game today saw two teams who both understood the importance of the um, occasion and the competition. We tried absolutely everything. Today we didn't get a lot for it, not to say nothing. Um, so now the boys have to recover. It's really tough. They fly now all, all around the world, pretty much. And in five, six days' time, they play the first of two games. So let's really hope and pray that they come all back healthy. And then we will start the rest of the season. So many good things. I saw, I saw them today. I mean, I think the, 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 the mood today, when you think about the channel of the game without being Liverpool or United, you think, OK. It was quite some football, and that's exactly how it should be. Um, and that I'm happy with that part, not with the results, obviously. Sam? Yeah, does a game like that, the emotion, the intensity of it, the, the kind of draining nature of it, is that why you're leaving? Or is that something that drags you in, that, that's part of the addiction of being a manager? Neither, no. Nothing to do with that. But you should watch me. If you see me watching football for a team I like, and quite emotional as well. So you can have that as well without being in the dugout. Didn't think about that. It's other things. It's uh, really we can talk about my situation as often as you want. I cannot just not change my answers. To be honest, um, no. Not do with it. When you stood on the sideline. Then yeah, it's, it's it. Yeah. Amount. Look, when you are winning, that's a great position to watch a game. When you're losing, it's pretty much the worst. You stand there, so that's how it is. It's all it's all fine. I had that all often enough. I don't know exactly how many games I had now as a manager, but I had it quite a few times, so that's all fine. It's nothing to do with that. And we don't we win a game, then I want to stay manager. If we lose a game, I don't want to stay manager. If the, if the atmosphere is great, I want to be a manager. If the atmosphere is not good, I want to leave. It's a general decision about something which has nothing to do with the, these little moments or whatever. So, I, I, I'm really sorry if I cannot explain it properly enough. Or maybe I have to say it in German and you can all translate it. I'm not sure that will be better, by the way, the translation. But it's nobody has to worry about anything, but it's not nothing. It's not that I say, oh my god, that's so great. I love absolutely everything about the things I do. But I need to be on my top game to do it like I do it. If I feel I'm not there, then I'm not the right. And I'm not the manager I have to be anymore, and that's how it is. And uh, you are not only a little bit worse, then you're immediately properly worse and uh, bad, and then you're in the wrong place. And that's, uh, you have, if you can see that early, you make a decision early. That's what I did. Yeah, I mean, you said that you saw the team struggle for the first time. Uh, basically, it's just you. So no, the problem. Yeah, yeah. The, prob the problem is we, we didn't even know who to, to take off. So, like, it was for a while, it was all right. 
in 90 minutes it would have been everything fine but then with extra time it was like okay, we were really options were now not we can talk now we bring the kids out we have we all said that all the time we, we, we have to bring in the right moment yeah, fantastic but it's not it was the right moment so you just saw we could have okay Makar definitely but i would definitely um uh darwin definitely lucho we did then yeah it was just it was just um Joey and whatever, you play all the time, the boys. That, that's how it is, and today is extra time. But, but, so like we say, if you lose, then lose in normal time, but not uh, extra time and losing then, obviously, in that late, that's obviously close to get the penalty shootout, because that would have obviously been the same intensity if you don't concede the last two goals. But the way we conceded the last two goals, you can see as well. And that was obviously, we are not on top of our game anymore. Um, gave two balls away. Absolutely no criticism about that. The boys, I saw a team who understood the importance of the game and gave absolutely everything. And today, it was not enough. And that's what we have to expect, uh, accept now. Jürgen, can I just check? How confident are you, though, that your players can recover? I know there's the physical side of it, but there'll, there'll be a mental draining after an experience like that, won't there? <laughs> no. Wow. They lose a, a semi-final in the uh, no quarter-final in the FA Cup, and it was a mental drain. Yeah, it would be really difficult if we have to deal with human beings like that. We play football for ages, and uh, you lose games if that leads always to uh, a mental state or situation where you need help. Uh, it's just a normal thing. We all you all fail on a daily basis, maybe even without recognizing, and we just get along with it. And today, if you don't give all. Then it's not mentally, but then you have to direct on that. But the rest is we are used, unfortunately, since kids, since we were kids, that from time to time we lose a football game. So, and I got that question already before. Um, if what kind of reaction I expect now? Yeah, nothing. They go to their countries. I hope they come back and have nothing. And then we think about Brighton when they come back, and we know uh, who can play again. And that will be tricky enough. All these kind of things. But in general. The team is in an outstanding situation in a moment. Well, we got through all these different and difficult situations, absolutely exceptional. For today, we could have won the game and we would have deserved it. Um, but we lost it, and Man United deserves it as well. That's the situation. Thank you. Hey, just on the sort of fatigue element, do you feel the international break then comes at a good time, or is it more concerned because then you don't have control over the players, you don't have how many control over how many minutes they play flying? So I'm not exactly sure when they play the first game. I would think so Sunday, probably Thursday, Friday, something like that. So until then, it should be fine. So it's like that. If I watch it now and see them then playing all the games, I think most of them have friendlies. What Tao, I think, has qualifiers. Um, I can, cannot make this decision for the managers. Uh, most of them we, we don't speak the same language, so I, and I have no contact. So I hope just that everybody is kind of. They want them as well in the best possible shape in the summer, so most of them play either Copa or Euros. Um, so I hope they don't have to play now two games, 90 minutes and stuff like this. That would be helpful, but it's not in my hands. So does it come in the right moment? If we would have kept playing, and the next one game would be on Thursday or Friday. I, I would be fine with that as well. But um, yeah, it's never cool when they're not around. I, I, I like it a lot when they're here uh, and we can really <laughs> Give players day off and and trust treatment stuff like this, but it's not the first time like that. It's the last time like that. So uh, let's just hope that they all come back in a good shape and then we go. Thank you. Yes.